What's good, everybody? It's one of the punch that game. Come back to it again. Some more Apex Legends Season 22. And this is Straight Shot Revival. And I would like for it to give us Trios Revival again. That shit was fire. But hey, Straight Shot will have to do. Salute to my new subscribers. Appreciate y'all. Return to subscribe to you right now. Gotta fight something real quick. And let's get into it. Do I or do I not like season 22 so far? As far as trios revival went, yes. I do like to being able to use dual pistols, pistol shotguns. Even though I still feel they should have gave us the Genesis. Because we haven't had a new fucking gun since season 12. And that's a long ass time ago. So I'm just like, what the fuck are y'all stalling for? It's like, you give us new maps, you give us new characters, but new guns, yeah, that's like too much for some reason. But as far as straight shot revival goes, it's fun. I mean, if you've seen the video I re like, you know, posted on my community tab or I, yesterday, at season 20, I had a hell of a lot of fun in this. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, that person don't represent me as who I am today. Or maybe I'm overlooking shit. Or I don't know. My brain is weird. <laughs> Let's put it that way. My brain is weird. I'll be on some other shit. And I didn't hear this fucker come through the damn door. Fix the fucking audio. No, don't, don't, don't hear me. Don't hear me. Just kill his ass and then, I don't know, wait for the teammate to come back. But it's just, I don't know. It's just this, the spontaneity of it gets on my nerves sometimes. But that's just me not wanting to deal with teammates. But what I will say is I will be looking forward to making another stream about this. And people that came into my stream last time I streamed. You have to understand that my style of streaming is different from the little cornballs that you may watch on that do YouTube, you know, Apex content. Oh, wow, look, you know, motherfuckers be doing twerking and bobbing and, you know, teabagging and all, all the goofy shit you see in videos with the X, EXX, or E. X, E, whatever the fuck. Meme videos and all that. I don't do none of that shit over here. We straight raw and uncut over here. 18 and older. Audience. Preferred. I know there's going to be children that kind of weasel their way in from time to time. But it's preferable. Even, even adults that's mature. Because we're going to have some foul fucking language around here. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I do love Apex, but I do have a love-hate relationship with it because I've been playing this shit since season zero. Day one. And they still haven't fixed core issues that have played this fucking game like footstep radio. Where the fuck is it? It's been 20, 20 season, <laughs> 22 seasons and it's still not fixed. Hit registration be popping one minute and then you got goals but it's the next. It's like uh what? And then on another occasion my should be since I'm playing on this here on the Xbox One, so I'm not gonna get the best frames ever. It'll be like fifty five and then shoot down to fucking twenty. Out of nowhere, and I'm stuttering through inner dimensional shit, like I'm Horizon or something, and then I get clipped. Even though I'm on the other side of the fucking wall, I'm clipped anyway. I'm like, what the hell is going on with this game? And why the fuck is it taking these niggas so long to fix? Shit that's been there from the beginning or seasons ago, 
with ranks. Why is ranks still shit? And they keep bringing it back, taking it away, bringing it back, taking it away. They take away the dive trails. They only put it on towards shit that you have to fucking buy. It's just like, motherfucker. Give us Apex 2 already. That's what it seems like y'all gonna do. I know I'm getting jumped because my... Where the fuck are my teammates at? This is why I be complaining about teammates. Like, y'all constantly pinging, 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 pinging me to do shit. And then I get there, y'all motherfuckers are dead by the time I get there. Y'all running the fuck far the fuck away from me. But y'all want to ping me when y'all go down. And when I get there, you either go down, evacuate, a.k.a. disconnect, or you're pinging a nigga that's two feet from you and you want me to pick you up. Huh? Someone makes sense of that in the comments. But anyways, I would like to say this. As long as blood, well, mas Vampire Masquerade, the Blood Hunt, lasts, I'm going to be playing that. To let, let off some steam from the generation of these fucking teammates. It's visceral, it's bloody, it's gory, it's fucking beautiful. It's goth as fuck, and I love it. And I got like four or five dubs last night. And I haven't played that shit in over a year, so... Take that for what you will. But I did get my shit kicked in. That's another thing I want to mention. Motherfuckers just think you're just supposed to be flawless out here and streaming. No. We get our shit kicked in all the fucking time as streamers. It's just, you know, there's other people, there's main people that just, you know, play Apex or whatever game it is. 8 to 12 hours a fucking day. And that's all they play. Or that's all that they post or whatever the fuck. Nah, me, I've never been that type of channel. Or type of person. Game or whatever the fuck you want to go go with there. I play a variety of different games because that's how I do in my personal life. So I post a variety of different games, period. If you don't understand that concept, I don't know what the hell to tell you. And this, this is acting up because I'm using PS Remote Play on my PS5 controller and it would not me access my inventory why I don't know but until I can get another PS4 controller I'm more than likely just going to continue playing on Xbox do uh, cross progression do my pros cross progression account that way and it makes it easier on me Will I make videos? Well, we'll see. I'll have to probably do it through uh, Streamlabs and record it that way. Because last night I was recording through my um, NVIDIA Shadowplay, which I just barely recently... Like, last night I just remembered how to fucking do it. I'm kicking myself in the ass for forgetting that I could have done that this whole fucking time. It's so like when I was playing Super People and got the dub on there, I could have made a video about it. And just like, you know, just showing my versatility when it comes to BRs. That I don't just play just one BR, I play multiple. Because, you know, that's just the way I am. <laughs> I like to go to different things. I find it hard to just stay on, stay put in one game or anything like that. God damn, can you let me get this fucking shit going first? Then you shoot me? You fucking bitch. Good shit, Sia, good shit. An impatient asshole. But, uh, can someone come get me, though? Like, seriously. I don't want to bleed out. Can y'all come get me? Because sometimes when you bleed out, it just makes shit more difficult than it needs to be. Thank you, thank you. Because 
if I bleed out and then see that happens and then you know it's going to start a ripple effect well, I was trying to get up on the damn ball but that, that's another thing is like the mantling on this game is cheesy it's clunky as fuck but on the like masquerade blood hunt that shit is seamless I guess because they're vampires they can just climb up on shit real easy the, the movements the omni movement in this game well not this game but in blood hunt makes this game look like this shit's like motherfuckers is sitting still like when I post a video you'll see what I'm talking about I'm not the most movement king ass person so don't get it twisted but I'm still getting used to it as well but when I started playing that shit again after some time of not playing it I'm like oh my god look at the visuals of this game even though it kind of looks shit um my settings that I have before it still holds up well for a game that came out two years ago I'm like god damn like I don't understand why nobody plays this but I guess it's just one of those niche games that kind of just like you know go under the radar but since it's not by a big time publisher or whatever the fuck I don't care like I'm gonna just be real with you. I prefer that over the super colorful nonsense that you had to deal with in Fortnite because there's set guns and abilities in Masquerade that I'm comfortable with now. And then the, the ever changing and OP bullshit that you had to deal with in Fortnite, it does become a, a nuisance after a while. I still fuck with Fortnite, I still play it and stream it or whatever. But I'm just giving y'all the real deal spill. I feel that I finally found the BR for me. Personally. Of course I'm an Apex guy, but you know. It's only so much teammate bullshit I can put up with. Before I just really need that solo dolo. I wanna spill nigga guts on the floor type shit. And they let me do that. Hell, they let me fucking eat the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I don't know this about me, but... I love vampire shit. And just like, you know... Mythological characters and all that stuff. Supernatural shit. That shit's very... Interesting and entertaining to me. GG's motherfucker, GG's. But... This is just like a rambling video. Just kinda like... Get a video out there, just talking to y'all, straight laced, but no chasers. We get the dubs out here, and PUBG, Apex, Fortnite, Masquerade, Super People, and various other smaller BRs over the years. I'm a motherfucker Renaissance man when it comes to BRs, bitch, especially Warzone. I been left my mark on Warzone. Caldera and Vent, uh, you know, Verdansk. The new shit that come out right now, I don't give a fuck. I'm burnt out on it. But it is what it is. I'm just one of the only person at the gaming. Signing out. Hope you guys enjoy this shit.